Hey there, Amazing Tech here. Samsung has launched Galaxy Z Flip 3. It's been three years since they released the flip phone with a completely new form factor, with a flexible display. So if you are one of those who believes in third time is the charm, this may be it for Galaxy Z Flip phones. So far, the folding phones have been a space where not many people would have wanted to go. That's because of the compromises involved when it comes to performance, durability, and of course, price. The phone comes in seven different colors and with two storage options of 128 and 256 GB. Samsung now allows to trade in up to four devices until you reach the trade-in limit, which is something that you would want to search your list of gadgets you may want to trade in. This phone comes with 8 GB memory, and I guess that should be good enough for everything this phone might want to do. I've been using this phone since a few weeks, and here is a quick review of this phone. The phone looks largely the same, from outside when it compared to earlier releases. When folded, it's about 4.2 inches and you can put them in your small jeans pockets. But when open, the display is as large as 6.7 inch and you will be able to do everything like a standard candy bar phone does. This phone is built to last with strong materials. It's sturdy as any premium phones should be. It feels good in the hands and I don't have any problems so far around the build quality of the phone. Samsung managed to maintain a thin frame so when you unfold the phone it's not too bulky in your hands. To top it off the starting price is a thousand dollars which is 450 less than the launch price of Z Flip 5G that it replaces. So that puts the Flip 3 at the same price level as many high-end non-folding phones. Looks like Samsung is trying to get the tech in the hands of mainstream users this time around. When it comes to display as usual, Samsung has put a big display on this phone. Main display has a 120 Hz refresh rate. The display does have the crease in the middle as usual, which you can expect from any folding phones with a flex display. I don't really feel disturbed by the crease during my use. Just you get used to it. But the display is completely sealed off so that no dust particle goes inside the frame, which is of course the reason for its IPX8 rating. Samsung claims that Galaxy Z Flip 3 is the first water-resistant foldable smartphone, and it can hang out in 1.5 meters of fresh water for up to 30 minutes, so it claims. The cover screen, or the display, can do a lot more than before. That's the most visible change this time around. It can show the live preview when you're taking selfies with your rear cameras. It also lets you add more clock faces and custom backgrounds to them, which is great. It has more opportunities to interact with notifications and some quick actions. But I would have liked to have the cover screen a tad bigger than what it is now, but end of the day it is what it is. The form factor is its selling point, and Samsung did not make any major changes to its looks overall. But definitely, the design is more refined this time. The folding experience is good with an almost loud snap when you close it. Opening the phone with one hand is rather difficult. I would have loved to easily open the phone single-handed than having to use both hands. But at the moment, this is how it works. When closed, the phone has a slight gap between the displays. But I think that's the design overall again. Unlike the previous versions, it doesn't scream or grind when you open or close it. Unlike the Fold 3, you cannot do any extended activities using the cover screen. To do anything, you have to open the phone with two hands. It takes time to perform any actions on this phone from a closed state to open state. This phone is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 Octa-Core 
which is the top of the line mobile processor that is currently available in the market. The phone feels snappy and fast, of course, that's what you would expect from a thousand dollar phone. It works with every 5G flavors in the US. Combined with 120Hz display, the actions are smooth, no lag whatsoever. Coming to the cameras, which is mostly the main draw for every smartphone nowadays, the cameras looks great, though Samsung hasn't gone out all the way with the high-end camera setup considering the form factor of this phone. On the front, it has a 10MP camera for selfies, and on the back it has two cameras set up with 12MP wide and 12MP ultra wide that'll help you capture the moments. All the software quirks are present and let you capture photos without holding the camera. Flex mode will help you take photos more easily with a steady hand built in, you will be able to take hands-free selfies. The quality of the camera setup is okay. You can capture reasonably good images with it. If superior cameras are your priority on a phone, this may not be the phone for you. I did manage to capture a lot of images with this phone and I felt they are good enough for, a, for an average user. So video recording capability is good enough to record anything you may want and it surely is good at that. When you want to swipe through your pictures, leaving the phone standing like a mirror, the camera app adds a touchpad for your swipe or zooming the images, which is just a quirky camera app feature. And if you're someone who makes a lot of video calls, this phone will be a perfect companion for you. Flip 3 has a 3300 mAh battery that is powering this phone up. Based on my use, it did last for more than a day before I ran towards the charger, but the phone, like most of the recent flagship, doesn't come with a charger. So the charger is on you. So Samsung has largely refined this phone from where it was three years ago. From the very beginning, it has been a roller coaster ride, which started with a high price, underwhelming build quality and performance overall to today, to a price that is affordable and supported by a solid build and performance that almost gives you the value for your money. Who is this phone for in the first place? Yes, that's the thousand dollar question here. I think this will be the first flip phone for mainstream buyers and not necessarily everyone would want it. The phone falls into the size of a wallet and opens up to become a full phone. This can be a fashion statement for many and for others, just pure convenience. This time around, Samsung has managed to produce a good folding phone that everyone would appreciate. Gone are the days folding phones looked like some sort of a futuristic experiment. This phone takes that experiment to the next level and hopefully it will attract more than just the early adopters this time around. Z Flip 3 seem to be the one to do just that. And thanks for watching.